What's up, guys? I'm Chance, and this is Cheers. This is Cheers. So, first off, as always, my hotline is 858-621-3877. Come at me. Let me know what's going on in your life. I'll let you know what's going on in my life. I'll respond to your events. Hopefully, you respond to mine. You guys are already watching it. So, yeah, let's just communicate. Communication is a two-way road. And second, if you guys like the episode, feel free to like and subscribe. And when you do subscribe, push the notification button. It's like a little bell type thing. Just helps me out. Plain and simple, it really does help me out. But other than that, today, what is going on? Let's see it. Today, I'm feeling a little cultural. You can see I'm a little dressed for it. I don't know exactly which culture this completely comes from. I'm getting like some sort of type of Zimbabwe vibe, but I got it from Thailand nonetheless. So it's a different culture than my own that I got in a culturally different place than my own. And I actually read an article this morning on Thailand. They are opening up their red light districts since they've been closed for quarantine. And that is not a place that you want to be roaming around at night with 40 extra dollars. And even more so, it's a place that you do not want to be if you are trying to abstain from sex. If you're trying to participate in being celibate. Do not go to the red light district because before you know it, you will have indulged. Other than that, okay guys, this is something that I'm very embarrassed, very embarrassed to admit. And that is up until about a week ago when I started watching Community, I thought that Childish Gambino and Donald Glover were not the same people. And I blame it on the summertime magic because we are in the full swing of summer. And me mistaking Childish Gambino for, or yeah, me mistaking Childish Gambino as being a different person than Donald Glover is for sure something I'm guilty of. But it's not as bad as if I had compared Kim Jong Un to Jeremy Lin. So on a scale of one to Colonel Sanders. I'd say I'm right at about a Clint Eastwood. Right there. And another thing I I saw today really piqued my interest. I am interested in what is going to follow this. But it is Ghislaine Maxwell. That is Jeffrey Epstein's girlfriend. Ghislaine Maxwell has finally gotten arrested. I have a couple questions to that. But you guys, we got to learn our lesson. It is not okay for us have to have sexual relations or train train a woman or even a male, for the matter of the fact, into being a sexual partner before they're 18. Why haven't we learned from the examples? We got R. Kelly, we got Crystalia, we got Gandhi, and we got Elijah Woodrow. All right, Elijah Woodrow. There's been no allegations of any type of pedophilia, but you can't trust anyone that is confidently rocking a prepubescent mustache. It just doesn't work. So, I might be wrong for throwing him in there, but still can't trust him. Anyways, anyways, once again, guys, my hotline is 858 621 3877. I'm Chance, and this is Cheers. Let's get on with it. So, guys, what's up, guys? All right, guys. I'm Chance. Everyone has a podcast, so I guess it's my fucking turn. I got three fully loaded cabooses. Cheers. Let's get this bitch rolling. But yeah, two hundred thousand dollars a year, right? That's we know where he's coming we from. Go to the beach. Big booty Latina. Illustrating what's wrong wow. in our society. Authentic, handmade, yeah. original We're chance. I want humanity to stay on Earth. This is. Alright, so straight to it. Ghislaine Maxwell. First, 
why are you in the U.S.? Your, your partner was the world's most famous pedophile ever. Maybe there's some Greek guy hundreds of years ago that beat him. But in terms of what we know right now, he's the biggest pedophile in the world. Why are you staying in the U.S. where you were wanted? There's a documentary on Netflix talking about how you comforted these girls and you allured them into this ring. None of this is right. And I will admit, one thing I know about women is that they're usually the one to introduce men into that kink shit. So we thought Jeffrey Epstein was into that freak shit. Let's see what's at the real root of the problem. Epstein and his cohorts? They were in little girls, which is fucking weird. But can we only imagine what the person teaching Epstein those kinks could be into? I could see her playing a real intimate game of Twister with a couple of dwarves or some shit like that. And that's not far off from reality. Women in Japan like those long appendages, them tentacles, and it is definitely something that is impure if I've ever seen it. So, my big question is, what follows this? What's the next big development in what the world's biggest conspiracy theory could be? And it's not just a conspiracy theory. Professional skeptics are saying, yeah. Epstein did not kill himself. What follows the glimpse we got of what could be allegedly the a multi-billion, if not trillion dollar pedophilia ring that just so happens to consist of the world's top powers? Now, one of my friends has been telling me that this is the big push. We should take Bikini Bottom and push it somewhere else. We need a society because he thinks that the wool's been pulled over our eyes for too long and once it becomes public knowledge that our country is literally being run by a multi-billion, maybe a multi-trillion dollar pedophilia ring, that's when the real revolution yeah, the real revolution start. I'm not talking about that horseshit, peaceful protest. I'm talking about the mob breaking out the pitchforks, torches, and fucking storming the Bastille. Because other than that, when has a revolution actually completed its purpose? When has it succeeded in completing its purpose? I don't know what the purpose... Besides police reforms are for these George Floyd protests. But as as far as I know, it seems like people want to abolish the police. I personally don't think that's the right way about going, going about things. I think the police need more money to get better training. But getting back to the point, we need to take it to the old school tactics. We need to storm the fucking Pentagon. What happened when they stormed the Bastille? They released the political prisoners. They released them. They succeeded. And I know the weaponry might not have been the same as it is right now. And I guarantee you the police and the military are... They have far superior arms than the normal civilian. But there's a lot of us. There is a lot of us. And that's all I'm saying, guys. We need something that actually sends a message. And this is where I don't I don't have the complete answers. It's tough. No one has the complete answers because right now we are literally working against the powers that be. The governing bodies. That's who we're fighting against. And it's tough. I one thing I was thinking of is there's two things I was thinking of, and they're very far-fetched, very radical. The first is releasing a lot of dangerous animals into the public. It's probably the stupider idea. I didn't put a lot of thought into it, but think about the damage that could be done. 
the that's the point I'm trying to get across. The second is we can create a sexually a new sexually transmitted disease. It's not like we don't have any experience creating one. AIDS. We could create a new one, but we could use it for our benefit. What this sexually transmitted disease does is we give it to children, but it's it's I think it's malign, but it's benign to children. So the disease doesn't actually do anything. And you have to think, women like children that are not of the age majority, if they want to do some strange, who are we to say they can't? It's part of being a kid. Exploring those hormones. But it's completely wrong if an older male wants to do the strange with that younger male or female. And what I'm saying is this sexually transmitted disease, what happens is when an adult performs the act, they receive it. And only to adults, it's not benign. Once... I don't know the science behind, but let's say once we get to a point where the we could have a disease that reacts to like maybe the telomeres, it could measure the lengths of the telomeres so that it could judge how old someone is. If we have that type of thing, that sexual disease would only destroy or like it would only really affect that pedophile, the adult that is trying to get sexually promiscuous with with these minors so it would not affect the children whatsoever but it would prevent these adults from having intercourse with these children and i know it's tough i know it is tough because first off it's the powers of the powers that be that want to have these menage a trois, menage a quads with these youngins. But if we make it clear that this isn't going to be accepted anymore, I think we could actually make some real progress. We could really make some real progress. But we, like, I'm just waiting. I'm so curious as to see what could. First off, is this Ghislaine Maxwell girl going to die? Probably. I give it like 75% probability that she is going to uh, die. I don't see it really happening any other way. I'd say like more like 95% probability. If you kill Epstein, why are you not going to kill her? We know Epstein's death was set up. There's no way you could get around that. So if it's already that blatantly out there, just kill her. Just kill her. But in all honesty, what's probably going to happen? Probably nothing. It might sound bleak, but that is what society thrives on. Finding comfort in the bullshit. Finding comfort in this bullshit. And yeah, guys, I'm, I just don't know what exactly. It's a crazy world. Definitely a fucking crazy world, and it's getting crazier by the minute. Let's move to another story. Another thing I saw is, uh, I saw a video of these women. I'm pretty sure it's Michigan. Might be completely wrong. I will link an article down below. But one of them was a white woman screaming explicitives at these black women. And the white woman claimed that they were blocking her from getting into her car and this is where we're at at the video let me pull it up for you guys wants to violate a 15 year old no i'm answering the question she's a child she bumped into me when so she did something wrong she needs to apologize this ignorant woman woman bumped into a 15 year old and it is obvious first off it is obvious this woman is having a bad day just because Outback Steakhouse was closed, maybe Lamps Plus, but she's obviously not having a good day. Let's see. You're ignorant. She's ignorant. Do it, bitch. Do it. Do it. I want you to do it. 
She's very ignorant. Seems reasonable. Just getting the license plate. You I will do something. Please put your do something. Hands do up. something. Please. Who the fuck do you think you guys are? Wait, who do you think you are? You, you, you called her name. Yeah. She did nothing to you. Yeah, I, I didn't. Did. I, I did it. Nah, no, you didn't. You're very racist no, and ignorant. And I will. No, you bumped it. She bumped it too. All right. First thing. First thing I have to admit. The only other car I could see waving a Confederate flag besides an F-150 is a Grand Caravan. So, this definitely fits the profile perfectly. The rest of the video is them pulling off. In the article, it turns out the couple was pulled over and they were arrested. Not completely sure why they wouldn't disclose it. Again, I will put the article down in the description. But... All right, I'm going to do like a little compliment sh sandwich. And that sandwich only has one layer of bread. First layer of bread. I will admit, from, from the John Wick movies that I have seen, she has impeccable form when handling this gun. You can tell she has trained her entire life for that exact moment. I doubt this girl has ever hunted. I doubt that there she has any other use besides that exact moment in what her training has prepared her for. And what it seems, what this seems like to me is a woman that is set in her ways and opinions. And now that is very sad. It's very discouraging. But I have one proposal. One proposal for the racist. Has any racist made that hot, sweaty love to someone they they discriminate against? I'm telling you, half these Karens out there ripping down the Black Lives Matters poster, they haven't gotten that good dick for a mandingo. They just have not. And the inverse goes for men. Any expat that thinks any every Middle Easterner is a terrorist has not seen Mia Khalifa in action. I don't know about Billings, but that girl can definitely take down a dick. And that's what I'm saying. At the end of the day, what I really think a lot of this is, these racists, they see some sort of desire in whatever they're prejudicing against. Whatever they're, show, whatever they're discriminating against, I think there is some underlying desire that they really can't get over that's what it is for them and because they don't want to admit that the, that the desire is there instead they they tend to discriminate and they tend to chastise these people which is completely wrong it's 2020 and we need to grow seriously guys we're better than this but those were the news stories that I've seen today. Besides that, the only other things that I've been really looking at, Chris D'Elia, he, as, as far as what I know right now, he has not done anything illegal, but it definitely seems as if he was training underage women. He would text women at like 16, maybe 17, they would tell him that, and he would say, oh, all right. Bye. I'm out. That's the right thing to do. But then the day of their 18th birthday, I guess, he'd slide in. Something like that. And it's not cool. It's not cool. He didn't do anything illegal. But I don't see a clear-cut recovery for him. And it's too bad because I really did like Chris Lee. I liked his sense of humor. His podcast was entertaining. He's just someone I liked listening to in total. And besides that, what else has been going on? I, one thing I've been struggling with lately, guys, and I don't know exactly where it's, where it's been coming from, is I've been having trouble sleeping. It feels like I'm not going through that full REM cycle of sleep, not hitting the fourth stage, whatever it is, where I get deep restorative sleep. I've just kind of been in that, uh, just kind of laying down, very sensitive to any noises, any movements, and that will wake me up. 
and I just have not been feeling completely rested. And this is where where I've been thinking about it. One thing I do really miss from a girlfriend, it's not even the girl itself. It's the way she would make my bed smell after she stayed with me for a little bit. Did some research and it turns out the aroma of someone that you were in love with that you like very heavily, that aroma comforts you. I, again, don't know the exact scientist because I'm not a scientist, but I was thinking like, I think it might honestly be a good business idea for someone that's seeing an incel with a lot of extra a lot of extra time, not they don't have the most opportunities to actually go and communicate with these women. A good public service would be to have someone go around and kind of spray like the fragrance or the aroma of someone of the opposite sex. I think in, ultimately it would increase the health of everyone that participates because being more comfortable when you go to bed you fall asleep easier it's just a nicer thing all around and yeah i can't see it not helping maybe if you do have a girlfriend and she comes in and she is smelling the government produced female aroma that could definitely start some sparks but if you have a girlfriend you don't need it you don't need that and now that I'm thinking about it, it's probably never going to be a public surface service, but I see it being privatized. So if anyone wants to take that idea and run, go for it. Go for it. But that's it for me, guys. And as always, as always, I, I really want you guys to call them. Let me know what's going on. The hotline is 858-621-3877. 858-621-3877. I'm Chance Kablay. This is Cheers. Take care of yourselves, guys. I'll see you next week. So, guys. What's up, guys? All right, guys. I'm Chance. Everyone has a podcast, so... Guess it's my fucking turn. Hang on, three fully loaded cabooses. Cheers. Let's get this bitch rolling. Oh, yeah. $200,000 a year. Right? That's we it. know where he's coming from. Go to the beach. Big booty Latina. Illustrated. What's wrong wow. in our society? Authentic, handmade, yeah. original chance. I want humanity to stay on Earth. This is.